In this video today, I want to do a simple comparison between filament printing, otherwise known as FDM printing, and the resin printing, otherwise known as SLA printing. Now, both of these types of printing have their own strengths and weaknesses, but when put together, they can really be a strong team. Now, for beginners, it used to be the case that you go straight over to filament printing because it was a lower cost, easier to get the hang of, safer to handle, and it looks pretty cool in those videos, but times have changed. Now, manufacturers have dug in deep to get SLA printing, lowering price, matching up to some of the favorite 3D printers like the Creality and Prusa printers out there. So, which is better and what do you go for? The simple answer to start the video, filament printing is better for strength, functional prints, unique filament types and colors, uh, customizations of the machine itself, such as tinkering with the hot end, fans, extruder, and even adding a Raspberry Pi for extra controls. It's more of a DIY's dream machine for free 3D printing. Uh, SLA printing or resin printing is a lot better for um, speed in some cases when you're talking about MSLA printing uh, which I'll explain later in the video and it's just the best for detailed quality prints like I'll show you later in the video also okay so in terms of the cost of filament printing versus resin printing they are pretty similar nowadays like it used to be the case where resin printing was a lot more expensive plus getting the resin itself but now you can get resin printers for like way under two hundred dollars, I think the AnyCubic Photon Zero goes for like one sixty-ish, and the Ender Three goes for about two hundred dollars if I remember correctly. But if you want to get like the cheapest machine, you definitely go with filament. But yeah, they're basically on the same level nowadays. In terms of the filament itself, they go for around about twenty to twenty-five dollars, and then the resin goes for about twenty-five to up to around about forty dollars. So the prices aren't that, aren't that far off, they're quite similar, so price-wise, it's either one. In terms of the quality of filament printing and resin printing, you're definitely going to get better quality with resin printing by far. So in terms of the re uh, layer resolution, on a normal FDM printer you can go anywhere from 50 microns or 0 0.05 millimeters up to about 100 microns, which is 0.1 millimeters for the layer height. Now for SLA or resin printing, that goes right down to, I think about 10 microns, which is 0.01. So that's a huge change in terms of the layer height and the quality you can, uh, quality you can get. So I've got some uh, prints. So these are F, uh, sorry, FDM or filament printing. And the quality is pretty good. Very good actually. And then we've got the resin ones here. So you can see the difference in the quality. It's a lot smoother. It's pretty good compared. There's another one got the Hulk. So it does have like some white patches, but that's because of um, post-processing. But yeah, you can see the detail in that. It's really good. But in terms of the strength, things like this, which is like um, a headphone stand, things that need strength, you're gonna wanna go with filament printing because they're the stronger parts. But you can get like um, ABS strength or ABS-like resins and high strength resins. So you can still get strength out of your resin printer if need be. Okay, so in terms of ease of use, um, it's hard to say. You can get filament printers that are like pre-assembled and you can put them together pretty easily in like five minutes. It's pretty much similar with uh, resin printers. Like this came in a few parts, like this was separate. The bill plate, which is the metal bit there, that was separate and the vat. So it literally just kind of slides in, you just put the screws in and that works out pretty easily. So yeah, these days they're, they're both pretty easy to put together. In terms of the actual process, I think you do have to do a lot more troubleshooting with FDM printing, especially with getting um, the prints to stick down. 
the build paint. But once you get the hang of it, it becomes a lot easier. But the initial kind of stages of getting that down is a bit difficult. Um, for SLA printing, this was my first one, which I got like a week or two ago, or like, yeah, last week. Um, getting the hang of it was pretty quick. I figured out you had to angle the prints to get them to stick down properly. But after I figured that out, it was pretty smooth sailing. But in terms of the actual printing, it is a lot messier. So obviously you're working with um, liquids and whatnot. And you do need to cure, uh, yeah, you have to cure the pieces afterwards. So after the, the print comes off the, the print bed, which will be like upside down, you'll be dripping in the liquid resin, which you then have to wash in a container like this which is filled with isopropyl alcohol which is over there and you'll need like a, you're gonna need a lot of tissue you're gonna need some gloves um, and your curing station but once you get a hang of it it's pretty easy to do but you just have to be a bit more careful with it so yeah i'd say they both have their strengths and weaknesses but overall i'll probably gear to uh, filament printing because once you get a hang of it it's pretty easy yeah, it's pretty straightforward but with this one it's a lot messier more po uh, post processing so that does get quite difficult okay so in terms of speed of filament printing versus resin printing it's a little bit hard to say because filament printing the material just comes out of the nozzle so the difference in the flow rate usually comes to the nozzle diameter so if you have a 0.04 millimeter nozzle which is the standard um, you're going to get a lot less filament extruded compared to a one millimeter nozzle where like plenty of filament can get extruded straight out of there. The difference with um, resin printing is basically the light, let me show you here, the light flashes on the plate, on the build plate, so we can actually cure whole layers at once. But this is with um, MSLA printing which is masked stereo lithography. Um, so it can be pretty quick, you know, if you have the whole build plate full up um, and then you, you print, then yeah, you can get some pretty, you know, you can get a lot of um, things printed at once compared to resin printing. So that's only for MSLA um, resin printing. If you have normal SLA printing, then it's not going to be as quick. So keep that in mind with the speed. Okay, so in terms of safety, um, the, the worst thing with a uh, filament printer is the heat, so the temperature of like the nozzle that can easily go up to like 240 Celsius uh, degrees Celsius for materials like PTG or even ABS. Um, the heated bed doesn't usually get too hot, maybe like 50 degrees, um, so that's not too bad. And things like electric shock that doesn't really happen that often um, as long as you, you know stay away from like the internal bits and you know you just have your regular safety um, yeah there's not too much that can really go wrong it used to be a problem with some fires that could happen because of the thermal runaway protection but nowadays that's been sorted out and they have the internal protections so safety wise filament printing is pretty good and um, for resin it's a little bit of a different story because it uses the liquid uh, photopolymer resin um, so let's see if you can see that there. Um, let's see if it has any. So it tells you, yeah, wear gloves and a mask and avoid direct contact to skin. Um, if you do get on the skin, wash it with plenty of water. That's because um, the resin is actually toxic and it can actually start seeping into your skin. And I think it can cause like a chemical or like an allergic reaction of some sort if you get enough of it over time so if it's like a few drips here and there it shouldn't be too much of a problem but over time you can start to see issues so make sure you wear your gloves make sure you wear your mask and you yeah, should be fine so yeah to summarize you're gonna want a resin printer if you want that high quality especially for those those miniatures and whatnot um, it's pretty easy to get the hang of. I've only had this for a week and I'm already, you know, printing away. For strength, stuff like that's functional, headphone stand, you can even get like wall brackets and whatnot. And even this thing that I printed, that's like a functional thing. You want to print that with um, FDM or filament printing. Yeah, you want strength. So if you want strength, 
go of the filament if you want quality go of the resin okay so that is the end of the video for the filament versus resin comparison hope you guys enjoyed if you did feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you found it helpful um, i'll put some links in the description for filament 3d printers that are pretty good out there and some resin printers that people find uh, good quality and whatnot so feel free to check those out if you want to make the switch from one or the other all right thanks peace